Hey, 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 Archie s and here. We went to Africa. Bucket list checked. Tanzania, Tanzania, however you want to pronounce it. We stayed the majority of the time in Dar es Salaam. We spent some time in Zanzibar and our host Faustin took us to his actual hometown, Chalenze. I was able to s and for his family, y'all. This was an experience that I'll remember forever. All of his family looking at is $200 a day. Chalenze is about a two and a half hour ride from Dar es Salaam. And I'm thinking the whole way, like, wow, this land is beautiful. I just, I want to buy something. I want to be able to come back here every year. And then I'm like, wait a minute, I am cooking for uh, a family in their home with my mom. This is bamtastic. And I'm a little nervous. Hey, hey. That's when you know this pineapple country. Pineapple is a roundabout. Now, when you are looking at a sign like this upon entrance to a town, you have to know this town is not playing with their pineapples. I mean, they probably have four or five different types of pineapples, and every pineapple around the world is just not the same because these pineapples right here was slamming how much is one pineapple in american dollars like cents like $0.25 cents a pineapple. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Holy moly. I was expensive. I hardly ever buy a pineapple. Mm -hmm. Now, as you may have guessed, pineapple is definitely on the S&Q menu. Now, I'm talking about every type y'all got. I tried. I said, man, it, it, this pineapple is green. We can't eat green pineapples. He looked at me and was like, <laughs> and then he cut me a piece. And oh my God, these are uh, 40 cents a piece to 80 cents a piece for these big ones and 40 cents a piece for these. Um, the green ones are still sweet as hell. Uh, it's just a different type or a grade of pineapple, but they're all sweet. It's not like uh, if it's green, it's, it's not uh, ripe. That's not true. Not here boy now i was not ready for this meat market uh, uh if that's what you want to call it now but where is the window where is the sink yeah that's that's gonna be some soft meat but is it gonna be sanitary With the amount of flies strolling across this meat and the head and hoof on the floor, all I can think about is vinegar soak is happening. Um, and didn't I say sliced thin? Now, I don't know what slice it thin um, means in Swahili, but the way he's smacking it with that hatchet, um, I don't think I'm going to get a piece of anything thin. It seemed like it's all, oh my goodness. Do y'all, do y'all, look at them flies, Lord. Look at these flies. Um, back to what I was trying to say. Yeah. Um, did he, they, ain't no gloves, ain't no knife sanitation, ain't nothing happening here, but the vinegar soap. That is, that is a definite must. And, um. I, I'm speechless. Bam! Y'all wasn't expecting to see that just like I wasn't. That is tripe um, hanging over a bucket, y'all. And uh, this man, th th there was more than one meat market, and I believe I chose the one with the, sh with the dullest blade in the deck. Um, I, I don't know. We're going to give it a shot. Now, this lady here, she she calmed me down because it was 
it was rough. I mean, I was I was going through a lot right there with that last scene. You know, that situation was uh, hard to take in, you know, but watching her um, put together this bread, you know, it's similar to naan. It's similar to several different types of bread. And um, we actually ate this. She made these for us. We took them to, to her, his parents, Faustin's parents' house. And I mean, they were still warm about an hour and a half later. And all I was doing was just praying that, you know, um, a fly didn't get rolled up in that dough on accident or like kamikaze and just dive down in there. That was really all I was thinking about. But I was calm while I was thinking about that. And uh, this man with this grater here, he was doing his thing. About to try to cook. We're getting some some uh, vinegar to uh, clean that meat. Found a couple of seasonings. I'll taste them and figure out what I'm gonna do with them. And, uh, we're asking around for certain things now. Now we're on our way to check out some spices and seasonings and um, whatever else we we happen to run into. And I oh. oh was I almost got ran over by a motorcycle dump truck. And we're wondering, you know, what why the traffic stopped. There's just no traffic on the road anymore. Um it just that that was weird to me. No, it looks good. Yeah. <laughs> you see the cops are everywhere. I don't I haven't seen one. Where? What do they look like? Hey, yeah, there's, there's one in white. That's a traffic cop. And you see that? The oh, green, I see. Okay. Yeah. You know, I think uh, maybe the Prime Minister or the President must be, you know, coming through. So that's why all the cars are not, uh, on, not on the road. It's a, oh, okay. We didn't see it just shut. <laughs> yeah. Shut down. We're going to the, to, the market. to the market to try to find us some seasoning. Oh, they got some brand new ones over there. Cargo, cargo scooters, cargo three-wheelers. What's in these sacks? Potatoes. I don't even want to know how much one of those sacks cost. <laughs> Potatoes. Oh, that's a Like $50. Okay. Wow. Now, if any of y'all are interested in a 50 pound sack of taters from Africa, there's going to be a link in my bayou right under my prescriptions. It's coming, huh? This is when the prime minister or dignitary comes in, they shut the whole road down. The police come out. And that was him riding by probably. They stopped all traffic for this, for him to travel. Uh, so what'd you call this, Foster? Magadi. 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 Yeah, this one yeah, I'm gonna dig through. But that's all you gotta do is touch it. This is uh, healing, the healing dirt of Tanzania, my God. The first thing that hits me is a, like a bitterness, <laughs> and then it starts to smooth Can you out. Laugh it? <laughs> like what? Oh, he double tested it. <laughs> Yeah. That was mom that was did. What, what's this one? It's like, um, um, Kumbi. Salt? Okay. It tastes like apple That's where they get out Yeah, it's got a, it's to the rescue. Yeah, it's apple salt. Mm -hmm. This is salty though. <laughs> Trying to get us some seasoning here. Okay. 
Okay. Ay, 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 I understand. Uh, this, let's try that Palau, whatever that red yeah, season. Yeah. No, Archie's no, asking Q. Yeah. Chilinze, Ta Tanzania. We are selecting fresh herbs to cook some barbecue or to S and Q it, I should say. And so he's using his expertise along with uh, the founder of the expertise, his mother, to uh, gaze the right garlic for what we are going to do um and we just went and actually bought uh about the equivalent of 10 pounds of of raw beef that was cut right off of the cow you can see the cow's head on the ground the feet um so it's really fresh and the, you know you think about uh all the flies and all that but beef uh is actually made to be cooked at room temperature before you cook it so it's actually not bad for you uh this is like uh accent oh okay. mm -hmm. that's the equivalent of accent Look. now what is coriander it's go ahead archie oh go ahead <laughs> See, it's it's in the in the shell. It's um. There it is. There's the seed. In it. Some is used as Indian spice. Indian spice. Uh, and and uh, also uh, in in meats and herbs. So that's gonna give you some savory. Yeah, this is. Auntie, do you know what that is over there to your right? Um, Looks like bark to me to the layout. That's, uh, <laughs> that's actually tea. Tea. Okay. Yes, it smells good. Yeah, it's got a little spice to it. Yeah, it smells like it's got spice to it. What does it do for you? I don't know. I don't know. It's just a crazy. Yeah. I want to eat some dirt. Huh? Yeah, give me. Uh, well, actually. Um, Oh, you take this. You're gonna take this back. You can take it back. Oh. Yeah, we we'll keep those, okay. but uh, yeah, we'll, yeah, we'll exchange it. that. Yeah, for uh, for two or three. Yeah, three is fine. Yeah. 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 Uh, what else? Yeah. 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 Oh, this is this. <laughs> Yeah, let's get one. No more more than. Do they have any kind of pepper? Nah. Like a red pepper or... I saw some habaneros over there, but that might be too much for me. Uh, me, me, me. Pepper flakes. Smells like a, a little bit like Coke. Like Coca-Cola. Hmm, it does. Mm -hmm. Got that little, that spice. Because Coca-Cola has a little burn to it. Yeah. Um, right now, we've got a yellow, which could be like a curry, um, possibly a little cumin, like it's going to be savory, right? And then you have this one, which is red, right? So it's going to give you um, like a paprika type of a feel or something like that. And um, when you start combining them the right amounts, you know, you can carry out a, a, a good flavor profile. Um, but you have to have salt, you have to have savory, you have to have spicy, and then you have to have something that's a little sweet. So uh, with the garlic, with these three, uh, with the soy sauce, um, with the vinegar, is to wash the meat. So this is what you do for the flies. So when you have the flies, all that stuff, you, you're going to soak it in this and kill all the eggs or whatever that, that's landed on it to make it something that we can actually handle. This okay. Morning, my, okay. My mom was, uh, she, she made already that. Mm -hmm. uh, that's clothes. I don't mm -hmm. eat that one. What's this one? This is like you grind it? Uh, when I, when I it I don't eat it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it goes to this one. And you grind it. It turns into this? Binzali. What is Binzali? This is like a. Hmm. That's cumin. 
Yeah. Yeah, I need some of this. I can grind it. You guys have a, a grinder or the. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Here's my garlic. How much do you need? Um, <laughs> that's hotter than ours. Yeah, our pepper is not that hot. <laughs> Perfect. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just so, that's all I'm gonna. Need. All I would need is that much. Just this. Mm -hmm. Those are peppercorns, but those peppercorns are on fire. <laughs> <laughs> Mom, try that one peppercorn. You want to try one as well? The sure. Mmm. I can smell a black pepper in my nose mm -hmm. as soon as I crack it. But just the amount of heat that comes off of that one Crunchy. peppercorn. Mm -hmm. Yeah, chew it. Mm -hmm. It's just black pepper, <laughs> like we would get. <laughs> <laughs> it's hotter than ours. Okay. <laughs> you make you have to oh, shimmy it out, huh? Yes. Dude. Just one of those. So we just spent eight dollars on <laughs> on everything, on all of our seasoning, onions, <laughs> garlic, oh. soy sauce, everything. <laughs> eight dollars. Here right now in the beautiful Tulense in Tanzania. About to eat a banana. A real banana. Is it good, Mom? <laughs> How does it compare to ours? Nothing? Throw it away? Throw ours away? It's good, huh? Damn. That's crazy. We finally made it to Faustin's parents' house. And, oh my. Take a look at this pit. Or... Whatever you want to call this. Um, but I'm going to tell you what. I'm going to make it work. Because that's what we do yes. when we S&Q. We'll All work. you need is bricks I can make this to, work. to hold in the heat and a screen to hold the meat. And you can S&Q. You want these are already broken? Uh, I'll you. So I just want everybody to know back home, it's been a great trip and uh, we, we finished out at my friend Faustin's house in uh, Chilenze and Archie has found his way to a barbecue pit and is going to barbecue for the family. But the really cool and interesting thing is he's using traditional seasoning and spices to do it. He's going to be using the traditional uh, utensils and um, tools to blend up his spices. So uh, his bam spice will be uh, very specific today. And he, of course, he's got, he has his uh, sous chef over there. So, uh, but just very, very blessed. This is going to be an awesome experience. And uh, we're going to be using uh, whatever, like a traditional type of barbecue uh, pit with uh, compressed wood. And so we're going to see going to make it do what it do. As you can see, their garlic is much smaller than in the United States. Um, but she's using this coarse salt to rub the garlic out of the husks. And it actually leaves the best salty taste on the garlic. It was perfect for seasoning the beef. Santa, Santa, this is Chase the Higher Frequency. We are 
preparing a traditional local barbecue meal. We were able to go to the market and get some fresh spices. We have Archie's SQ here um, preparing the spices along with the, the Kilbanis who so graciously let us into their home and show us some techniques to use to get the garlic going. I have never seen that. And so we got fresh garlic and I'm not gonna try to name all the spices that we got going that are fresh, but as you can see, they're being prepared uh, freshly. Boston. More tea? Can I get you more tea? Or, mm -hmm. yes? And Boston, uh, the tea is uh, coming this from the- Thermos. It's coming from this thermos. Yeah. <laughs> yep, you see that? <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> There you go. Oh, this is my yummy spot. And the leaves. Right there. Yeah. And so they're called here, those leaves are called chai leaves. Chai chai. But in Arkansas, those leaves are called Johnson grass. Johnson grass. All right. For, for breakfast, we're having uh, a traditional breakfast. Mandazi, chapati. And the best way to describe it is uh, the best donut you ever had and some of the best like naan or um, tortilla you ever had in your life. There we go. Mm -hmm. And then without sugar. without sugar, naturally sweetened. And you see we got the compressed wood slash coals spreading out with that beautiful whiteness. And uh, we're getting ready to go. We got the meat in here, and it's being um, kind of cleansed with, what's, what are you doing it with? Vinegar and water. Because it's fresh, you know, uh, fresh meat. Uh, got it from the butcher. Open market. Open market. Mm -hmm. When they see you going to the kitchen, they say, hey, don't go, don't go. What are you doing in there? Yeah. They don't allow it. We're not supposed to. Yeah. We're the total opposite. Mm. It's like when I was delivering you, uh, first thing, my husband went to the kitchen. He was working there. Usually, he was working there. He was working there. So he came from there and he told me that he was working there. So he came straight because he's using when he goes outside. He kept searching to the neighborhood. He was checked out like anything. Yeah. He said, but this is my wife and this is my son coming. They said, no, 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 you have to tell her to be here. Yeah. Wow. Ryan states he wants somebody to be there to see what they, how they, they, they handle the comes. Why? Right. Uh, yeah. 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 I see that the difference that. Oh, oh yes. Think, think is, uh, supposed to see how I, I would deliver. It's like quite a sight. <laughs> and here you're not supposed to see. Yeah. Uh, and then, uh, not, not allowed to see. Yeah. But nowadays, 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 some of the private hospitals, they allow. They allow. But you know, government hospitals, no. Wow. This is what we got from the market, as you saw in the earlier video. And now I'm basically trimming it into pieces that are something similar to steak size, uh, so they'll grill better and more evenly, and they'll cook faster and hopefully be tender. Uh, what I did was soak it in garlic, I mean uh, vinegar and water to kill any kind of uh, any kind of uh, eggs that the flies may have laid from just sitting on them. And then we uh, also helps to tenderize the meat and take the gaminess, if there is any, out of the meat. So if the meat was a little old and gamey or something, that vinegar would help to uh, take that out as well. And um, now we're just gonna, it looks like it's part of the belly. So it's gonna be pretty soft. Like uh, this looks like a uh, flank, flank steak. Flank. Wow, that see. does look just like the grade mm -hmm. of a so flank this steak. Is, this is flank, it's the belly. And, um, 
The only thing that's gonna make it tough is not being able to get that that uh, silver skin is what we call it off the back. Silver skin, okay. Cut that out. But here, you know, you ain't gotta worry about it. <laughs> because uh, it really ain't gotta worry about it. I mean, that is real fun. And that is just soft, soft, soft. So I'll do that. And this is garlic. This is garlic. And then show them the seasoning I made. Uh, little makeshift bam spice. Makeshift bam spice. African spice. African spice. <laughs> <laughs> so now we've uh, cut it as best we can based on the hack job that we got. And I got some smaller pieces that we'll be cooking like steak. And then we have some big hunks here that we'll be cooking and getting that fat out and, and we'll be eating on that while this other stuff is cooking. It'll be a different texture yes. and uh, a different flavor because you're going to have all that good fat. And uh, we're just going to over season it and then I'll, when the oil comes, I'll put the oil on it and it'll help the seasoning stick. And uh, that'll be done. It'll be time to cook. Yep. Stack my coals right. So. You need the salt? Uh, I'm gonna need a little salt for the top. Now, if it's not good, just lie. <laughs> Two and a half hours from Dar es Salaam, and uh, earlier you saw we cut up, or we saw we got hacked on a big, big piece of beef. And uh, what I did was cut it in smaller pieces and uh, make me a marinade and season. And now we're cooking it over direct hot wood coal, SQ style, we'll sear both sides. And
good thing about s and is you just need fire and a screen and you can cook. You don't have to have a closed pit or anything like that or even wood smoke. The reason why I want to hashtag teach you to S and Q, check that hashtag out. Um, it, it's really because we all know how to barbecue and we love barbecue. However, cooking over direct heat, locking the fat in, using a searing technique, then going with an indirect technique and using a roasting technique, then if the meat is still too tough, just like this is because it's real cow, then we put it in a pot and use liquid and we braise. So you're using all these different techniques to bring the best out of the meat. That's what S&Q is all about. And that's what I want to teach you. Uh, we all love and know how to barbecue. So this is just another style that when you don't have that equipment uh, to hold that heat at a specific temp, you still know how to present and cook and have a great flavor profile to your outdoor foods. This was plated with that great spread of pineapple, that was a beautiful pot of rice. They made a beef curry as well, but mine was actually softer. Hey, um, and it was just a great, great day. I'll never forget this. I love Africa. S&Q out.